a dozen more years ago, around 2003 and 2004, I had a, a long conversation with Mia Scheimer, the author of the book, uh, Tragedy of Great Power Politics, uh, predicting that U.S. and China and possibly Germany will have will eventually end up in a war. Because any, any country that is rising, gaining power, will try to be a regional hegemon. Being a regional hegemon uh, poses danger to the United States. Therefore, the U.S. has to react. There's no other way to, to beat it. No other way than war. So I, I, I talk, at that time, uh, my argument is that I said, granted, that you do not know, 20 years down the road, what kind, of China you, what kind of China you will see. Or China will not know what kind of United States we will see down the road. Okay, granted, there is uncertainty about future. But if we take each other as the competitor or strategic, strategic competitor or as the enemy, and you formulate your foreign policy, you know, political, economic, cultural, etc., etc., along the line of viewing the other as the enemy, 20 years down the road, you have enemy. You will have an enemy. That's for sure, because your, all your efforts are focused in that direction. You're driving yourself, actually, into a trap. But let's suppose we don't know. Future is uncertain. There is a possibility that the two countries can, can work together. We can avoid a war kind of situation. Then we should view each other as a possible friend, a friend in the future. We will formulate policies or take actions with a view that the other guy, your competitor, will possibly be your, be your friend. When your policies, when your actions are directed in that friendly, cooperative direction, or that fashion, 20 years down the road with lots of accumulation of cooperation, the two countries' interests will be so interwoven, it, will, it cannot be separated from each other. It will become a, a, a twin of shared interest and a shared destiny. will not become similar countries, but will become so friendly, so cooperative, that we will not try to even to hurt the other guy because it will hurt yourself too. That argument, Professor Mayor Scheimer, of course, uh, is pretty stubborn, and he, he believes his theory, his offensive realism, uh, is probably the only correct theory. Uh, but he also acknowledges my argument has a point. Um, I said, in, I'm a practitioner of foreign policy. Uh, if you practice this way, there is a very large possibility that two countries' major powers can peacefully coexist, will make the world a better place. But from the very beginning, if you view each other or paint each other on the board with a big enemy mark, strategic competitive mark, then all your policy will follow in that direction. There is no doubt the end will be tragic. That will be my answer to today's question too.